Hi, my name is Denny. I am the creator and admin of this group, Horses with Fecal Water Syndrome. I would like to talk about uh, hay. I have some good examples right here in my stable. First off, English is not my first language, so there will be flaws and accents, and I hope you will bear with me. Uh, otherwise, I dare you to make a video in Danish. Second, I am not a veterinarian. I am not a scientist. I don't have any professional tags. What I am is the owner of a now eight-year-old horse uh, diagnosed by a veterinarian with fecal water syndrome. And I have managed to keep him clean and dry for about three years now. And this is mostly because of my hay management. Like most, I have been through about every supplement out there. And some worked uh, for a few weeks. Uh, I have tried fecal transplant. It worked for three weeks and then we were back to square one. So it was quite an expensive <laughs> experiment. It did not work. Supplements did not work. Um, what did work was hay management and the correct hay in the correct quantities and most especially the best quality. I have some examples in my stable now, so I would like to try and show you what I mean, I can see it's a bit difficult to uh, to get the details, but I will uh, give it a try. This little bale um, was sort of an experiment from my own fields. Um, it was cut and dried uh, during a drought. It was very warm, it was very dry, and it uh, was turned and whatever, dried for uh, seven, eight days, I think it should have been fine. Then it was uh, plastic wrapped and it looks fine. It looks fine, but it is not. And it's very important. Uh, sadly, the camera won't uh, pick up on the fungal spores that are there. I have a little video clip where I succeeded uh, to get the camera to, uh, to record it. So I will clip that in. But it looks fine. But it isn't. And you shouldn't feel this um, to your horse. Are there any sort of dust and fungal spores? You should not use it at all. There, do you see? It almost looked like smoke. There. That is fungal spores. It's very hard to see on camera. Over here, I have my magic. Behave. Thank you. Um, this is um, bought from a, I yeah, don't know the correct term, but hay producer. He cuts it, leave it on the, um, on the field, turn it of course, for two days, then it will be baled and put in sort of an oven that pushes uh, heated air through it and then it's dried to um, a point where you have a water percentage under seven. And it is the best hay in the entire world. There's not a speck of dust. There's not a speck of um, fungal spores. This is what keeps my horse clean and dry every day and has done for um, three years. But 
here comes the important thing and how little it takes. This is the same as here, but this I didn't have time to clean up yesterday. So it has been lying here out in the open, in my stable of course, so inside. But it has been taking the air humidity. Try and listen. There's no crackling. This, that looks perfectly fine. Was I to feed this to my fecal water boy, he would most definitely have a flare. That's at li as little as it takes and how important the quality is and the focus and the willingness to um, take care because this is only a problem for my fecal water boy, my two other horses, there would not be any sort of issue using this happily. But it shows how little it takes and how high you have to have your quality of hay. <sighs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> when I feed inside, I use um, nets or <laughs> I actually use this dog pool to um, just leave a bit of, of hay for them to eat off the floor without coming in contact with the floor. And I have to apologize, we have a very wet fall, so there's mud absolutely everywhere. And this is my outside. They get their hay in this box, sometimes on the net. It has, uh, it's a pallet with a mesh net on top. And that's how they get their hay outside and never for more than, um, than half a day. And this is fine. This is actually my winter outfitted fecal water boy. And uh, we are clean. Okay, his tail is a bit dirty. But it's mud.